This is a story we've been reporting on for a long time. You probably all have seen the pictures from California, lakes, reservoirs, they're all at historic lows. In fact, now the entire state is facing mandatory water restrictions. So COIN wants to know, could Oregon be headed in that same direction? Take a look at the water level at Detroit Lake. Many of you are familiar with that area. It's drained every winter, oh. so it's not unusual to be low this time of year. But here's the problem. It's not filling up again like it should. So we sent Tim Becker to find out exactly how serious this is. What is it like here right now? Well, I'm just going to go ahead and give you a look around. Now, nobody is too worried just yet about what you're seeing here, but there is some reason for concern. I found out that the water level here at Detroit Lake was well, about 42 feet below where the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers would like it to be this time of year. Inflow is not what it should be, and the lake is 35% full. It's still usable, but this ramp is the only way to reach the water right now. And at popular marinas, the docks still sit high and dry. Would these docks typically be floating if that 42 feet were in here? Yeah, they'd be starting to float about now on a typical year. Corps spokeswoman Amy Eccles tells me this lake system relies 80 to 90 percent on spring rain to fill up and won't say they're worried but rather watchful right now. We're notably behind on both the rain and the snow. Uh, we, without a snowpack we do not have any uh, assurance for late season inflow. Well, you can see the tree line. The water comes right up just below that tree line. Steve Chittenden has worked at a marina here for nine years, and he's not even close to worrying about how things look right now. We always get a lake. What we're waiting for is a good rain. Uh, it can fill the lake within two days. Really? A, good, a good storm, the lake can come up right away. Depending on how you're looking at using the reservoir, there could be concern. Uh, recreationalists would likely be concerned at this particular point. The lake sits behind Detroit Dam, and Eccles says water outflow for both environmental and power generation takes priority over recreation. Around a half million people visit the lake each year, and Steve is confident they'll have plenty of reason to be back. We're positive. We're going to have a good season. At Detroit Lake, Tim Becker, COIN6 News. I like positive in his way of thinking. Tim says an updated water supply forecast should come out sometime in the next couple of weeks, and then that'll give the Corps of Engineers a better guess at what the early season will look like at Detroit Lake. That's just a 